Just a short while, the likes of Little Mix, One Direction, Connor Maynard, Fun, Neo are all going to be joining me. Apparently, it's just through here. I'm quite excited. I've heard they've done it up especially just for this occasion, so I think it's through here. Ideal. Fun. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Um, yeah. So, welcome then to the uh, Radio 1 toilet. Uh, as you can see before us, this majestic object. Now, for the Radio 1 listeners who haven't seen this, can you describe it for them? It's a tombola featuring every question uh, ever asked to any guest on Radio 1. Just sum it up for the listeners. What does it look like? It looks like a time capsule. Did yeah. I, w I was thinking a tombola... Whatever, I don't know what that word means. A tombola, that's what that thing is. The idea is it's filled with questions, all the questions that we've ever asked to anyone on the radio station. And would you mind giving it a spin, one of you, if that's okay? Thank you very much. Lovely. And if you could uh, open the slot. Oh, this is... Yeah, it's not very steady. And pull out a question for me and hand it over. That's Only ideal. Thank one. you very much. Only take one at a time. So many questions. Okay. Uh, have you ever invented a word? That was asked by Edith Bowman to Prince Charles. What did Charles say? Um, I can give you Charles's answer. He uh, invented the word front munter. Front, to front, front munter. To describe front someone who was uh, looking good from behind but unappealing from the front. That's a what front, Charles said? That's what he said. A front he munter. It? Yeah, that was his word. So what word have you guys come up with? Bedolzo. Bedolzo? Yeah. What does it mean? It means Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Okay, I mean, he's already got a name. The... But, but, but if you invent a word, it has to mean something. So it's like Prince Charles invented a word for something that has words already. Yeah. Front, back, attractive, not attractive. Yeah, that's true. He, just them. he did, he did. Yeah. We're not condensing, we're making it a little more fun to say. We'll accept the answer. Uh, dip in, grab another question. Chuck it this way, let's take a look. Uh, this one is What is your hidden talent? That was asked by Fern Cotton to Jesse J. What did Jesse J say? Uh, she was able to burp the alphabet backwards. Had to get a priest in. Jack and I actually have a juggling routine. Oh, and yeah. this sounds like I'm making it up, but it's actually true. We can each juggle, and then we discover that we can like juggle between each other, too. Okay, how many balls? Six. Six balls. Yeah, because yeah, we, start, we start with three individually, and then we just start like mixing it up. We, we've only ever done fruit, though. We've never used any balls. Is this going to happen at the Teen Awards today? Is it going to happen in the, uh, the we're breakdown? Not, we're, not, we're not ready like that. Okay. It's, not a prof it's just a hobby at the and moment. I feel like some of the screaming might <clears throat> cause to drop the fruit. That's and true. The thing about juggling fruit, which is a little more treacherous than other things, is you drop it, and it, it gets wet and smashes. Dip in for another question. Nate fing Nathy Fingers. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks very much. Ah, this is a good one. If you could swap lives with any celebrity for a day, who would you choose? And that was asked by Dev to Jedwood. Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney. Are you throwing, Topical. Are you throwing in just a British reference there for us? I actually love Wayne Rooney, love the way he plays, and one of my favorite songs is called Wayne Rooney. Oh, okay. So you'd go Wayne Rooney. I'd go with Michael Caine just so I could perfect my impression by being him. Uh, dip in. Let's have another question, if you don't mind. Can I keep going? Yeah, you can keep going. Can I spin it? Yeah, you can spin it if you want. Let's take a little look inside. Chuck it this way. Thank you. Oh, you right, two I got, there. I got two. I'm going to have to choose one. Um, if you could have the answer to one question, what question would it be? And that was asked by Sarah Cox to Jason Derulo. Um, I, I'll pass. Uh, you could have um, the answer to... Oh. Uh, I would love to know what's going on with the light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, you've discovered that it's the BBC and it's not exactly ideal. I like it's like a strobe effect. It, it, we should have put a warning out before it's like the interview. It's a very slow strobe. Yeah. It's, like the BBC it's the like slowest strobe. The BBC is like a big deal, isn't it? Uh, are you getting the impression from this interview that the BBC is a big deal? I'm, no, I'm getting, well, I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering what's going on. I think we're the tiniest cog in that thing. This could be like a haunting that's going on right now. We could be haunted by Jason Derulo. <laughs> Incidentally, <laughs> there are less terrifying hauntings out there. <laughs> Incidentally, Jason's answer was that he said he'd like the answer to the question. If you could have the answer to one question, what question would you ask? Uh, before realizing that he himself had just answered it and then uh, needing to lie down. Fun, thank you very much for joining me in this strobing toilet. It's been an absolute treat. Um, have you got a way that you traditionally like to end an interview that's not gone as you planned? 
I'd like to answer. Actually. By like flushing, <laughs> flushing the bird. Hey, you can't. Sorry. I, no, that was better. That was better than. I was w- wondering how we were going to. Has anyone done that yet? No one's done that yet. But you are the first people. That's the question I'm wondering. Has anybody done <laughs> that yet? <laughs> Your ambassadors. Fun. Enjoy the teen awards. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.